Welcome back. It's time to check in with Bob Bosold over at Wax to get our Friday Ag News. But before that, Bob, who are you rooting for in the Super Bowl? You know, I was just thinking about that, and it'll be one of the most relaxed watches for a Super Bowl I've ever had because I really don't care who wins. <laughs> I don't have a rooting interest either way. I, You know, I'm frustrated. The Packers should have beat the 49ers. The Lions should have beat the 49ers. But in the end, usually the best team wins, so that's why the 49ers are there. So I, I don't know. I don't care. You guys have a rooting interest? I don't, but over-under, we forgot to ask you this yesterday. What is the over-under? Well, well, no, this is a Taylor Swift over-under. How many? The over-under is five times we see her. Do you think it'll be over or under five? Boy, it depends on what Travis Kelsey does. Um, I agree. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I'm going to say, well, uh, boy, that's a tough number. I'm going to say under. Okay. All right. So well, did I. I, I, I said under, too. We'll yeah. have to wait and see. We will wait and see, but uh, I'm sure she'll be there. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's take a look. Uh, before we get to that, we've got farm news. Well, <laughs> one of the effects of lower farm exports this year is the effect that and other factors are having on farm income in 2024, and the numbers aren't very good. The USDA's latest numbers show net farm income this year will just drop just over 25% from last year and will be 41% lower than the record high farm income of 2022. Their estimates call for net farm income to be $116.1 billion, almost 2% lower than even the average for the last 20 years for crops. Net cash receipts are predicted to fall almost $17 billion, over 6% lower than last year, while income from livestock and livestock product forecast to be down about 2% or $4.6 billion. Not helping will be farm expenses forecast to be up $16.7 billion this year, and that's with expected lower fuel and fertilizer prices. Expenses for feed, labor, and livestock, though, are all going to be higher this year. Well, the Senate Agriculture Committee has joined their counterparts in the House in beginning to put forth positions on a new farm bill. Democratic uh, Senator Debbie Stabenow of Michigan, who's chair of the Senate Ag Committee, put out a press release this week pitching some changes to federal crop insurance. She wants a plan that would give farmers a choice between a higher premium subsidy for crop insurance or signing up for the traditional commodity programs. She said the bottom line is to protect crop insurance and farmers at all costs. And USDA economists issued their February World Agriculture Supply and Demand and Crop Production Estimates yesterday. The report put a lot of emphasis on what's happening to crops in South America, mainly Brazil. The report did trim both corn and soybean estimates, but not as much as grain traders were expecting or hoping for South America. The size of Brazil's soybean crop is now lowered by 1 million metric tons from just a month ago, down to 156 million, while their corn production was lowered by 3 million metric tons, down to 124 million. And that uh, report also put our U.S. corn production for last year at 15.342 billion bushels. Average yields 177.3 bushels per acre, and that puts the farm gate price of our corn for the ending for the year, the marketing year, at four dollars and eighty cents a bushel. Now, exports have had an effect on soybeans; they're down, so they've raised ending stocks by 35 million bushels, up to 315 million, and uh, that cut the soybean price estimate. For this marketing year, by a dime, $12.65 a bushel. Let's go to the marketing board, and the prices on the board of trade were mixed. Corn was down a penny, beans up four cents. Reaction to that report, and overnight, corn went down another one to two cents at 4.31. The wheat up three cents, 5.91, but uh, beans lost six cents, so we're down to 11.87 in the overnight trade. Dairy market's not so good. Yesterday, the barrel cheese price was down three quarters of a cent. Blocks down a cent and a quarter. Butter was down two and a half. Class three, the same trend. February down 11 cents at 16.12, with March and April both down 14 cents in the trade yesterday as those class three prices remain mixed for the rest of this year. And you guys got some exotic foods you're going to be preparing for Super Bowl? Uh, no. No. I will <laughs> I not be preparing there. any food. <laughs> Chips and sausage, chips and salsa, and a few beef sticks, and I'm good to go. Chicken wings. There you go. That's not bad either. Yeah. Buffalo Enjoy chicken. Enjoy it. Yep. Yeah, there you go. Have a good one. You too. Hello, everyone.